I'm sorry. I can't do this. Do I look at you or the camera? The camera. Action. He. He only came to see me one time, and that was a week after my birth. I was born to a young single mother in Lexington, Kentucky. She was about 20 or 21 years of age when she had me. But my father, on the flip side, my father only came to see me one time, and that was a week after I was born. After that, he just vanished into thin air, never to be seen or heard from again. So I call him the Houdini father. I often wondered what my father thought about me when he saw me for the first time. Did he look at me with a gleam in his eye? Did he hug and kiss me as he was holding me? Was he even happy about his newborn son? Did he think about our future together? Did he imagine him and I playing catch together? Did he think about the day that he would teach me how to ride a bike? Did he see himself on my wedding day while adjusting my bow tie, saying to me, son, you're about to marry this amazing woman. Now go and make me some grandkids. On the flip side, what was going through the mind of my mom as she saw my father holding me for the first time? Did a smile spread across her face like a Chicago skyline? But what went through her mind when my father left and he didn't show up the next day? What about the next day, a month later, two months later, a year later, two years later, three years later? What went through the mind of my mom four years later when she received the phone call that my father had lost his life? Not knowing my father growing up was rough. I mean, really rough. Questions like these would circulate my mind. Why did my father leave me? Why wasn't I good enough for him? Did he really love me? Questions like these would stalk my mind like a crazy ex-girlfriend. I can be at the park and I can see a father playing with his son and all of a sudden, a sense of sadness would try to fill my heart. So I pause, take a deep breath, and keep on trucking. And like me, some kids only see the faces of their fathers through pictures. One thing that left a hole in my heart growing up was this, not knowing the identity of my father. Why is that? Because no one on my mother's side of the family had a picture of my father. But back in college, through a chain of events, I finally met my father's side of the family. And when that happened, I received so many pictures of my father. Now, when I looked at this one picture, it was almost as if I was looking at myself in the mirror, with the exception of his big old afro, a plaid shirt, and some bare bottoms. I must admit, that when I first saw the pictures that I looked at them over and over and over again with so many mixed emotions. I mean, after 24 years, I'm not seeing his face. It was like um, a piece of the puzzle that was missing from my life has finally been solved. And at the same time, I was angry that I had to see him like this without having a chance to talk to him. And that was painful so painful that I wanted to yell at him through the pictures and say this right here. What was it about me? What was it about me that you were so ashamed of because of your decision to abandon me? Never had the chance to feel the embrace of your hug. Never heard you whisper me good night. Never had the chance to look deep into your eyes and see my reflection in your sights. How did my father lose his life? Well, he was in California with the wrong people, into drugs, he got kidnapped, 
drug to a football field, tied to a football goalpost, blindfolded, and he took a shotgun and blew his head off. And his body laid there for three days. So a man was walking his dog, and the dog kept on smelling something and led the man to the body of my dead father. So that's how my father lost his life. Fatherless children spend the majority of their lifetime chasing acceptance. Like fatherless daughters who look for affection with men through sex and collecting emotional wounds, causing them to wear masks and costumes. So by the time they meet Mr. Right, their heart is so broken and no longer bloom like beautiful flowers and sunlight. Many women who were raised without their fathers are usually attracted to older men as a way to fulfill the void in their heart from not having their father. They look for daddy and all the wrong men. Here are a few quotes from women who were raised without their fathers. Being a fatherless daughter has made me very bitter. It's hard for me to trust men because of my father. My dad broke my heart before any guy ever had a chance to. Listen, if you are a fatherless daughter, learn to give yourself some closure. Closure is coming to terms with the situation and permitting yourself to move forward. If you don't give yourself closure, you will remain emotionally stuck. Fatherless sons hit the streets and they learn to fight, fight from the rejection they feel on the inside. And they are the masterminds behind most crimes, gangs, and homicide. Boys have a hole inside their heart the size of their father. And sometimes that hole follows them from childhood to adulthood. A father's love is like ink in a pen that never runs dry. Let's just say it is an endless supply to help sustain the pulse of the kid until the day, day, die. Many fatherless sons get stuck in anger rather than deal with the hurt because that hurt makes them vulnerable. The depravity I feel from being a fatherless human being is indescribable, which makes me question the old saying that time heals all wounds. Believe me, I know what it's like to carry around the hurts and the rejection of not having your father. A father's attention to his son has positive effects on a boy's emotional and social development. A son abandoned by his father is deprived of a deep sense of personal security. A life of crime and gangs are magnets for young, angry sons. If you don't believe me, just take a trip to your local jail or your local prison, and you will find out that 80% of inmates come from fatherless homes. I know these things all too well. I didn't have anybody in my life to show me how to be a man, how to work with my hands, and lastly, how to properly treat a woman. So guess what I did? I turned to a life of crime I joined the game, started selling drugs, started packing pistols, and robbing people at gunpoint. At one point in my life, I was facing 10 years in the penitentiary. If you were raised without your father, or don't have your father in your life, and you still feel the sting of his absence, number one, surround yourself with people who love you unconditionally. Look, I don't know where I would be at without my support system. Y'all the real heroes. Number two, seek out counseling and therapy, something I should have done, but I didn't, but yet, here we are. Feeling the pain that over 18 million kids in America feel each and every day, the absence of their father's love.